Here's a guide to understanding the map display and layers in RV Trip Wizard, part of RV Life Pro, which also includes the RV Life GPS and Campgrounds app. Once inside an open trip, you can access your map display and layers menu by clicking on the map settings button in the upper right corner near your user icon. This pop-up menu gives you options to customize how your map will look in RV Trip Wizard. Let's talk about the various choices you have inside your map settings. In map style, you can select from four different map modes, street map, the default option, night or dark mode, good for viewing in low light situations, terrain to help you get a better idea of topographic features like hills or canyons, or satellite. Satellite view is particularly useful to ensure that locations will be properly accessible for your RV. For example, that can mean making sure that when you plan a fuel stop or en route grocery stop with your rig, you also check that the gas station or grocery parking lot will have adequate space to get in and out without having to do any crazy maneuvers. For small RVs, just one entrance may be fine but RVers with larger rigs may prefer parking lots and gas stations with multiple entrance and exit options. Satellite view is also handy for checking out campgrounds for campsite size and scoping out which sites are closer to amenities, as well as figuring out proximity to other campsites for privacy. Vetting your stops with satellite view while planning can make a huge difference in having a smooth travel day. Moving down into the driving radius, you can choose whether to toggle on or off the driving radius rings. You can also choose which driving radius style you'd like to be displayed. The classic view gives you perfect circles with distances shown as the crow flies, while the advanced view takes into account actual roadways and speed limits. To quickly jump to your trip settings in the routing and driving tab, where you can set your preferred distances for the driving radius, click on the link here. For more information about the driving radius feature, check out the video linked in the description. The next set of layers are all about toggling on or off the various pins that can be displayed on your map. If all of these are set to off, RV Trip Wizard will only show stops that have been added to your itinerary, and no other pins. Setting Show Campgrounds to On will allow campgrounds to be displayed on your map. This is the same thing as clicking on this Toggle On Off Campgrounds button in the upper right corner, next to your user icon. As long as Enable Filters here is set to Off, RV Trip Wizard will display all campgrounds in your map area. This can be helpful if you know the general area of where you'll be traveling, but want to see all the options for campground stops for planning purposes. Setting Show POIs to On will display the points of interest you have selected using the research drawer. Inside the Points of Interest tab, you can choose which types of POI you want to be displayed. If you get a pop-up message saying, please zoom in to activate point of interest filters, you can close up the map display and layers menu for easier viewing, and then zoom in to narrow in your map viewing area. Then go back into your research tab and choose the POIs you want to see. Popular POI types are at the top, like fuel, rest areas, overnight parking, and dump stations. Scroll down to see more specific stores or points of interest, plus various area attractions. Note that at least one category in the Points of Interest tab must be selected with the button in teal for pins to display on the map. The Toggle POI on-off button in the top right has the same function as the switch in the Map Display and Layers menu. Setting Enable Filters to On will apply the filters you select within the Park section of the Research Drawer. We currently have Pull Through Sites and Four Stars selected, but there are many different filters to choose from here. You may notice that your map is still not showing any campgrounds. Here we see zero parks in view. If this happens, you will need to toggle Show Campgrounds to On. Again, you can do this either in the Map Display and Layers menu here, or with this toggle button in the upper right corner. You can see the difference the filters make when viewing your campground options. Here's all campgrounds without any filters, versus with Enable Filters set to On. The last pin layer is to show low clearances. Setting this to on will display any known low clearances such as bridges or underpasses. Click on each low clearance pin for more information. A pop-up will show more exact height clearances and details. This is the same thing as going into the hazards tab inside the research drawer. Clicking on the low clearance button here will also toggle this pin on or off. 
you may need to zoom in on the map to view these pins. Keep in mind that road conditions are constantly changing, so remember to always maintain awareness when driving. The bottom section of the Layers menu is for overlays, which can display on top of whatever map style you have selected. Setting Public Lands Layers to On will show an orange overlay to more easily view where national parks, national monuments, or national historic sites are located. If we see that orange overlay somewhere in our map viewing area, we can zoom in closer to see the name of the National Park Service site to help us research or plan a visit. Opening up the Weather Layer submenu gives you options to view current radar, wind speed, or wildfires. Finally, toggling time zones to on will allow you to view the North American time zones, so you can plan for any time changes that occur during your travels. The time zones are drawn out with white lines, so this may be easiest to view using the night or dark map, or in some cases the satellite map in map styles. While planning an RV trip wizard, you may notice that the number of settings you have selected will appear in the map settings button in the upper right corner. This shows you how many of the map pin layers you have toggled to on. To remove map settings, you can click on the map settings button to toggle off layers individually. And that's it for map display and layers in RV Trip Wizard. As always, when you're ready to navigate your trip using your phone or mobile device, just open up your RV Life app, tap on the red menu bar, and then choose RV Trip Wizard. Here you'll find all your active trips ready to get on the road.